A week from today, voters in Terrebonne will decide if they want their own sewer district. Bola Badebo has more on why some are pushing for a change in that special election. The vote next week is for the first phase of the project. It covers an area where many businesses are located in Terrebonne. The Shoots County Commissioner, Patty Adair, says it's important for the city to have its own sanitary district for economical and environmental reasons. It's called septic failure. Septic failure. It's, it's quite um, prevalent in um, that part of the county because everything is on rock. On March 14th, a special election will determine if Terrebonne gets its own sewer district. The four candidates for the five district director seats for the proposed Terrebonne Sanitary District are Tim Brown, Mariah Patel, Guy Vernon, and Kristen Yurden. Parker Vernon, Guy's son, got the whole project off the ground, and after getting about 100 signatures, he petitioned the county to start the project. He came across older sewer feasibility studies with one based in the 80s and a couple in the 90s. I read the whole thing, and it said at the end of it, Terrebonne needs a sewer system. There's a 50% higher septic failure rate than the rest of Deschutes County, and that was in 1996. The latest study was done in 2019. The goal is to first develop the sewage infrastructure in Phase A, where there are mostly commercial businesses, which are the primary supporters of the change. Interestingly enough, the business owners do not get to vote, though, in the upcoming election. That is only the resident, uh, the residents of the area. But there is opposition, mostly from residential homeowners. And more so the process that has been in opposition. Uh, when we were going through and putting this all together, we decided a phased approach would give us the best shot of getting sewer into the area. And the primary opposition just w wanted all of Terrebonne to be included at once versus in a phased system. Or in a Adair says some residents also worry about incurring costs. Vernon says much of the costs would be covered by grants and loans, but residents will be paying for SDC costs. Only eight ballots were submitted so far from the 154 people eligible to vote in the election. If you still need one, you can pick one up from the Deschutes County Clerk's Office. Bolabadibo, News Channel 21.